Vai. Ok. We can't see. We go. Oh dear. There is a crime epidemic in Pavlova. In October 2013. I wonder what is the latest news. In, in 2013, Pavlova, a small East European country, is seeking EU membership to bring economic development to the country. Like other East European countries, Pavlova is trying hard to be admitted despite a crime epidemic. Oh dear. Pavlova has been long rejected by the EU because of reports of overwhelming violent crime and corruption. Over 10% of the population is in prison with uncontrollable gang and sexual hardship and almost no humanitarian standards. Oh dear, dear. Oh, Alfred, hooray. The news today is terrible. But such a joy to see you and to have my sons and visit here in Pavlova. Your brother Robert will be here soon. Your mother and I are spending time here after our years with the UN in Geneva. Lovely to see you, Dan. How are you feeling? Oh, with the Pavlova crime news, terrible, but uh, at 82, <laughs> I'm a bit thoughtful. I, I, I remember well what happened 20 years ago, but can't remember where I put my glasses 20 minutes ago. That seems to be a bit awkward. <laughs> the understatement of the year. I'm like an absent-minded man who went to see a psychiatrist. My trouble is, I said that I keep forgetting things. How long has this been going on? Asked the psychiatrist. Uh, how long has it been going on? Uh, said the man. That's me, but I can't still laugh at myself. Perhaps Dr. Alzheimer is calling, but I'm too busy and, and, and so happy. <laughs> happy without memory. Seems a bit strange, Dad. Yes, Alfred. You see, I only remember the good things. All the bad things are just forgotten. It's great. Well, now, I am not sure. I thought of it that way before. Yes, but now in Pavlova I have three problems. If I can still remember them. Uh, one, memory, two, Pavlova business school, and three, the Pavlovian crime epidemic in, in, in Pavlova. I, I am a good friend to President Polzer, but what about you? What, what, what's it like as a professor of neurology at, at Chicago University? A joy for me, Dad, at, at Chicago. We all work about 80 hours a week and travel the world teaching, researching, and publishing research reports. Alas, nothing much to do with crime. I read somewhere uh, that something like 40% of published research reports get, get uh, disproved by further research. Uh, published two years later? Yes. Even scientific proofs changes regularly every two or three years. Sometimes we are wrong. But it's not criminal, just too careless to be published quickly. We have to deal with it. Tomorrow I will give a presentation at Neur Neurology Management at Pavlova Medical Association. Then I am free and need a break from research. I am so happy to be with the family and with no work to do. Except, of course, my portable telephone that rings incessantly, but gives me the illusion of feeling important. Now, Dad, where is our busy mother? Is she still saving the world from overpopulation with the WHO? <laughs> Yes, still saving the world. She, she, she's due back, if I can remember. Um, uh, any moment now, uh, for, from that Geneva visit, I, I'm waiting for her call. I, I don't use my portable phone much, as, as, I, as I don't want to be woken up from my dreams. 20 times a day. But I think children with, with portables average 50 calls a day. Perhaps it makes them feel important. <laughs> Hooray. Please may I ask you, why do you choose to leave wonderful Geneva for Pavlova? You were both so happy retired in Geneva without problems and now you have the three great problems in Pavlova. Now what are they? Do you remember? Well, it is 
a long story, but before medicine, I was trained at Chicago to teach and uh, set up new business schools. Then I worked for the UN, uh, based in Geneva, but now on retirement, I cannot resist the temptation. <laughs> Whiskey or sex? Very dangerous at your age, at 82, Dad. No, not that. Just the temptation to help to set up uh, one more business school in Pavlova, despite the current crime epidemic. Crime epidemic? Yes, the European community refuses to admit Pavlova because of the current crime epidemic. About 10% of the population is in prison. Seems impossible to me. Yes, with failing economy too. But my new business school will hopefully begin soon and, and, and funding from our good Pavlovian friends, the Polatas, uh, and, and, and support of the Pavlovian government, the Polza, so I can't, re I can't resist the temptation to make it a go. And who is the Polza? Polza is President Polza of Pavlova, who wants to get Pavlova into the EU. He strongly supports the need for an ethic business school here to influence the cutbacks on the crime and, and, and corruption. I see him often and he keeps me informed of the Pavlovian political business and culture environment and, and the challenge in, in the lovely country of epidemic crime and corruption. Impossible, of course, but that's the way it motivates me. I don't know, but Pavlova must be a strange place. It should be so interesting for me to meet your friend, the President. Yes, but we also have a sad moment, a, a crime problem. The Polatas' son, Timo, or our friend, the, the Polatas, has just been sentenced to 10 years in prison for financial fraud. He says it's a political manipulation, but now, with, with stress, his mother has, has breast cancer, so this is my fourth problem. How to get him out? What a tragedy. Sad indeed. Need to do something about it, somehow. Well, we are all doctors in this family. Alfred, perhaps we need a medical solution here. Only a list of unethical things with, with business should not do unless they really have to. It's illegal. Sorry, I've, I've, I've jumped, yeah. I jumped to your, I went straight to your bit, sorry. Uh, nothing, so you go from, <coughs> from ethical business, Alfred, I jumped to your line, sorry. Really, Dad? First, let me ask you a question. Are there really no ethics in business here? Only a list of unethical things which businessmen should not do, unless they really have to. Is it, is it legal? Nothing is illegal. If a hundred well-placed businessmen decide to do it... Oh? No? Well, your very ethical French mother will not be pleased, but alas, business has no ethics. You see, nobody sympathises with a failed business. The key management skill is business is not ethics, but survival. First personal survival and then business survival. Makes me feel sad, very sad about business. Yes, so you, so you are better off in medicine and healthcare. Until, of course, uh, Either lawyers give you a hard time for a mistake, they will call it uh, uh, deliberate uh, malpractice and, and pursue the, the patients to sue you for compensation in millions with huge fees for them. They tempt people with the plan. We sue for you and if we don't win, no fee, no pay. This is a bit hard to resist. Not very ethical, but I would call it irresistible. But not yet relevant in my case, yet. But who knows for the future? Meanwhile, all of the, your poor sons have had to do medicine, but I am so happy with the research at the Chicago University, even better than the computer games. Yes, indeed. Now, younger brother Robert is also here for a visit, so we shall all be together. He is in London training in general medical practice. He is very uh, sceptical about medicine and, and, and everything. He is still not sure where to go next and what to do with his life just now. He is here in Pavlova for a few days, uh, researching Pavlovan healthcare and even thinking of doing uh, a possible MBA with me in, in my new school. He thinks he might even enjoy a bit of crime and corruption. <laughs> 
I wonder if you feel just a bit guilty, Dad. You even encouraged our mother to give up sociology and do medicine with you. She may have, for good, she may have forgiven you by now. Yes, she's due back now from Geneva and should be here any moment. Bill brings me some right. Welcome home, my love. Did all go well with the WHO in Zurich? Have you saved the world from overpopulation? Geneva, not Zurich. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Dr. Artsheimer called in again. WHO Geneva went very well indeed. So Alfred and Robert are here for a few days. Hooray! I'm so happy to see them. But right now it has just happened. Damn it! Just your thing, George. Crime and corruption. Oh dear. What has happened? Mother, something went wrong? At the airport. I was just ringing you to say I had arrived back safely. I put down my bag to take the phone. I put my bag on the floor. A very nice young guy came up and asked me the time. I stopped to show him my watch. I am a bit short-sighted. And what did he do? He picked my bag and ran off. Oh, crime in this country is terrible. Was he an Olympic runner, Mother? <laughs> Did you run after him screaming, Stop thief in Pavlovian! <laughs> no, my Pavlovian is not yet good enough. At 63, I have climbed Kilimanjaro for five days, but I can't catch a high-speed young man at the airport. So I explain my problem to the taxi driver who is now outside waiting to be paid. Uh, please. I'll do it right away, Mother. Oh, thank you, dear. I need a rest. Well, as you have no bag now, uh, so you have no unpacking to do. Oh, that's lucky. Lucky, George. I lost my bag. Oh, your English humour, George, is not appreciated here. Oh, with my French culture, I cannot laugh at your humour. It is just so sarcastic for me. Oh, sorry, sorry, dear. Uh, please sit down and have a nice cup of English tea, dear. <laughs> my best medication for every health anxiety problem, except perhaps gin and tonic. Now, <laughs> where did I put the tea? Uh, oh yes, uh, over there. <laughs> so sorry, Mother. Are you feeling bad now? Touch for you, tough for you in Pavlova. Must be so nerve-wracking. But you were lucky there was no physical attack. I just heard the, the sad prison news of Timo, the son of the Pavlovian friends, the Polatas. Yes, you know. I begin to believe it is so sad indeed. Crime epidemic is like a sickness, which I think needs to be treated. Oh, but meanwhile, we have to survive somehow. Sorry not to be there, my love, to fight off that guy and defend you with, with, with both feet. My left aunt doesn't work too well. <laughs> Nor the right one either, George. <laughs> too true, yes. And falling apart. Bits falling off, but trying hard to still be useful. I think something must be done about crime here in Pavlova. My project for a new business school is almost impossible without control of violent crime. But of course, I don't get too excited about peanut corruption. With, with a discreet reward under the table to be sure official paperwork gets processed in time. Oh, and here is the news. Pavlova has been reje rejected again by the e EU because of reports of overwhelming, overwhelming violent crime and corruption. President Pulser is trying again. In Pavlova, over 10% of the population is in prison with uncontrollable gang and sexual hardship and almost no humanitarian standards. Not yet fit to be an EU member. Crime epidemic. Can it really be true, Dad? In 2013? Yes, Polzer, the president, will be so upset. For real economic development, Pavlova has, to, has got to get into the EU. Crime control is top ethical priority, political, economic, and, and even a church. I think so too. One of the few things George and I can agree on after 30 years of marriage. Thank you, my dear. We know crime quite well. <laughs> we were mugged in, in, uh, in Baltimore. It was, it was a hit on the head. I was hit on the head. Your mother was dragged away five yards, but was so uh, overweight. 
<laughs> Wait in those days that the Magus gave up and ran away. Oh, George, please. Your terrible memory is sometimes too good. Mm. I shall have to have a word with Dr. Alzheimer. Oh, sorry, dear. Yes, and it's uh, only 20 years ago. So I remember it well. I was taken to our own hospital emergency room, uh, covered in blood. They asked, Dr. Bolland, what are you doing here? So I replied, just testing the service. <laughs> they all laughed, but I think I recovered. But seriously, I feel so strongly about ethics and crime. Our Pilatus friends not only have the tragedy of Timu, but they were also burgled last month while last month while away on vacation, despite a hugely expensive electronic burglar alarm system. Yes, in Pavlova, house burglary is very amusing. Uh, but I dare not, not laugh if they steal my passport again. The house burglars are efficient. They know when an alarm goes off, it takes 10 minutes for the police to come, so they always complete their burglary in just five minutes and almost never get caught and sent to prison. Oh, news again. The prison experience seems to motivate more crime than prevent, prevent it. So many released prisoners are back inside within a year. President Pulser says that great efforts for crime prevention and control are made by the police, Christian and feudal religions, probation officials, education, social service, social service, internet, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Are Pavlovian prisons becoming excellent training centres to encourage more rather than less crime? In Pavlova, crime preven preventation and control efforts all seem to fail. Can President Polza do anything about it? Perhaps the crime epidemic is due to a Pavlova poverty and culture needs some research. Needs ethical business management. I agree. We need our business school supported by the government, uh, Polza, <coughs> and our wealthy friends in, in, in the Pilates. It's almost ready to begin. So Pavlova has hoped that with your ethical business school, crime will go down? Seems a bit optimistic to me, Dad. We need some rigorous research on crime control. Yes, in Pavlova and the US too. So many people are trying. Yes, George. And with your business school project, supported by Polsa and the Pulatas, you're a bit trying too. But I do my best not to notice it. <laughs> Thank you, dear. So perhaps Pavlova may never get into the EU. Well, George, may I dare to suggest that we should forget Polsa and your business school plan and move back to Geneva? Not yet, please. We are insured for your bag. We are insured for your bag theft. Well, maybe our insurance only. <coughs> Not again, memory. It is terrible. But with uh, your bag, it was not a, a, a violent crime. It didn't beat you up, uh, thank goodness. So let's think about it. After all, we also, we also got burglar uh, as uh, an ex Xmas uh, presence in, in Geneva last year, and yet we recovered more or less. So now in Pavlova, Something must be done about the crime epidemic. Uh, well, what to do? Uh, I have great enthusiasm for new challenge. Dan, we need economic development to control and stop crime. Have, have to accept it, Dad. With poverty, perhaps it can't be done. Oh, look, more news. This epidemic crime crisis has severe negative effects on family, business, politics and economic development. Hence the, the urgent need for President Pavlova to find a new solution. Only hope is to change the Pavlova culture such that, cr such that criminal minds become against further crime. The government seeks help but the EU declines to get involved. There you are. The government wants a solution. Electronics are so powerful, but home burglar alarms don't succeed. Now be reasonable, George. Surely our family team of doctors can come up with a creative medical electronic solution to the Pavlova crime epidemic? 
especially with the chief Chicago professor of neurology in the team? <laughs> Why not a sort of EBS, electronic brain stimulation against crime? <laughs> Why not? I must go and see Polzer to get the government's reaction. We need a creative solution. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, George, but with great age your memory is getting worse. We need to change to an ethical business in Pavlova. Can we change your brain too, George? <laughs> not today, please. I'm very doubtful about EBS, but I could mention the potential for a medical electronic crime control in my Pavlova medical presentation tomorrow. But you know, EBS has been researched for so many years with poor progress. Despite brain, deep brain stimulation studies at Oxford and Cambridge universities, with only limited positive results. But perhaps there's a need now for a new creative solution. New creative solution? Let me test your cre creativity, Alfred. Ready? Mm -hmm. No, no. But, oh well. Yes, dear. Here it is. My creativity test. The bath is full of water. Now choose. Will you empty it with a bucket, a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Oh dear, do I have to decide now? Mm, yes. A, a bucket, of course, no problem. And you, George? A bucket, of course. Of course. What's the answer, please? <laughs> Why are you laughing, Eliza? Mm, for creativity. Always look for another alternative. None of those. Just take out the bath plug. <laughs> oh dear, thank you, Eliza. Be careful. You are beginning to be... Uh, you're beginning to qualify for English control. Perhaps, Alfred, we can both try to see Polza tomorrow uh, to get the Pavlovian government's reaction. Will you remember to do it, George? Mm, yes, dear. So kind of you to see us, President Polza. Welcome, George and Alfred. My pleasure to see you both. How are you? How are the plans for our Pavlova Business School going? Uh, the school? Oh, yes, uh, very well. We hope to open the first MBA program soon. Excellent. My hope is that it will help me with ethical business management, the crime epidemic, and our efforts for admission to the EU. That is what we want to talk about today. The government seeks new solutions for crime control. Yes, indeed. I'm trying so hard. We think we have an idea which may interest you. Excellent. What do you suggest? Research. A medical solution, Polza. Medical? Is that possible? Medications. A new drug. A new all-powerful anti-crim virus medication. No, 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 not pills. We, we suggest research into EBS, electronic brain stimulation, to take away the motivation for crime. Your, your reactions? Brain stimulation. Oh dear. No, no, no. The political leaders in Pavlova would never agree to that. Why not? No, no, no. In Pavlova, we never interfere with the brain. It might do terrible harm uh, and even change the politics. Prison is very tough punishment, but necessary to deter crime punishment not triggered. Brain changed not in our constitution, not democratic, against United Nations human rights, rights is inhuman. Your prisons are a bit uh, inhuman too, yes, but we keep that very secret. We don't want to offend the EU and, and, and affect uh, our, admi our admission. Yes, but we don't publish it. With EBS, you could release prisoners back safely into society and save so much cash. What, what, what would business think? Safe cash sounds good. Appeals to me. Release prisoners? Oh no. Business would be scared of EBS. No. 
No, no, no. No ethical in business to risk brain damage. High insurance costs and claims, too difficult to manage, might lead to even more serious crime and corruption, might motivate new investigation into tax evasion, might affect sales and profit. No, 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 no. Not acceptable. But could I possibly suggest that the Pavlovian Church would find it so much more humane and react well to EBS? Maybe. But I think the church would say no. No, 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 no. We dare not to change the brain. Only God can do that. Prayer is the answer to crime. Punishment may be needed and God will decide it. That's a bit disappointing, Polza. EBS might even change healthcare for the better in the future. It would really take too long to prove it. I am so sorry, George. We have our common <clears throat> values. The Pavlova culture could never accept your EBS solution to the crime epidemic. We have got to find another way to resolve, resolve it and get into the European Union. Please. Well, well many thanks uh, for taking the time to meet us. Uh, your time is always so much appreciated. We hope for Pavlova's EBS research project and <coughs> we're going to use uh, our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try and motivate some funding. Cash is always welcome. It is always a great motivator. New funding would be wonderful, but also we cannot accept brain stimulation, even with a cash flow. So sorry, I could not help. Crime is such a serious problem here. Something must be done. We must find a way to be accepted in the European Union. Uh, perhaps our failures so far give us the opportunity to begin again more intellectuality. Bye, Bye for now. Robert has arrived. Uh, so, sorry Liza, uh, the meeting with President Polzer was a failure for now. Alfred is giving his uh, presentation and y y you're with us, Robert. Robert, I'm so glad you have come to see us in Pavlova, my dear. Yes, just for a few days to be with you. I'm curious about the medical care in <coughs> Eastern Europe and also I want to hear about Dad's and the new business school. Set some exciting new possibilities. Yes, indeed. Um, an ethical business school to help resolve the crime epidemic. We, we, we suggested EBS, electronic brain stimulation, to Polza in, in, in the government. He, he was uh, kind yet very, very negative. Agreed. The EBS idea is impossible, Dad. With my London experience, I am very skeptical about crime control in tough environments. EBS seems to be just a dream. You're getting a bit old, Dad. But wait a moment, Robert. I agree with your dad. Crime control is now our Pavlova problem. On a personal level, Timo, the, the son of our good Pavlova friends, is in prison, suffering. With EBS we might get him out. Why not be open to a medical solution to crime? And, and Robert, I also have many Pavlovian medical contacts now. The Pavlova Medical Association, perhaps I could encourage them with our help uh, to come up with a, a, a revolutionary EBS solution for crime control and then get a positive response from the government. Uh, not to do it, but to research it. Well, why not electronic solution to treat crime, Robert? Uh, doesn't the, the advantage appeal to you? No. Sorry, Dad. It, it just won't work. My London job is, is is in primary health care, bringing me in touch with poverty, criminal environments. I don't think crime is, is an illness to research and treat, but perhaps we need a new powerful anti-crime antibiotic. No more of your English humour, please, Robert. I think seriously that we must treat crime rather than punish it. With inhumane prisons? I think it is the same problem in the USA. Two million in prison costing, costing $50,000 per prisoner each year. Total cost about 100 billion each year. Oh, perhaps my dear friend Obama would be interested. Well, treatment may save cash if it works and reduce our income tax. Oh, no, 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 no. I see it as a great ethical opportunity to save.